Baking Neural Radiance Fields for Real-Time View Synthesis Neural Radiance Fields, or NERF, achieve high-quality view synthesis results for complex scenes. But NERF isn't perfect. This collab is running on a powerful GPU. Let's render an output video with NERF and wait for a frame to come back. This will take a while. Let's keep this running in the background. We present a method that can render a trained NERF in real time. I'm capturing my browser window live using a 16-inch MacBook Pro laptop. Like the full NERF method, we can render high-resolution novel views, including view-dependent effects such as highlights moving across surfaces. To achieve this, we drastically reduce the amount of compute needed per ray. As opposed to NERF, which predicts view-dependent colors for every point sampled along the ray, we compute view dependence only once per ray, akin to deferred shading in real-time computer graphics. Specifically, we predict view-independent diffuse colors and a small feature vector per point in the scene. During rendering, we accumulate these features along each ray and then decode them into a specular residual, shown here. We add this residual to the diffuse color to produce the final output image. To make this real-time, we pre-compute and store, or rather bake, these colors and features into a 3D voxel grid. We only allocate storage for non-empty voxels in the scene, allowing us to focus our ray samples in occupied regions of space. We densely pack these voxels into a 3D texture atlas, which reduces storage both on disk and during rendering. This works well across a large variety of scenes. Notice the reflections appearing on the water surface and the detailed thin geometry of the ship's rigging. Check out the extremely complex occlusions for rays passing through the microphone grill. We also support free viewpoint rendering of real objects. Take a look at the complex reflections on these garden spheres. You can even see parallax in the reflected image. The metal barrel occludes the tree in the background. We can even reproduce the appearance of the translucent vase holding these flowers. Like previous multiplane image based methods, our approach also works with forward facing scenes. Alright, let's check back in with our collab. Looks like we've rendered roughly 10 frames. Thank you for watching.